Hi, I'm Michael from Planet Naturopath. In this video today, we're going to talk about small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO. We're going to discuss what it is, how do you know if you have it, and more importantly, how to get rid of SIBO if you do have it. So if you're experiencing symptoms such as IBS, gas, bloating, reflux, constipation or diarrhea, this may mean that you have SIBO. So let's have a look at what SIBO is. What is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO for short? SIBO causes 70 to 80% of all IBS cases. So if you're experiencing gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, there's a chance that you have SIBO. The other 20 to 30% are caused by other types of infections like Helicobacter pylori, dysbiosis, candida, or possibly a structural abnormality. The large intestine has trillions of bacteria, but the small intestine should have very little bacteria. And it's when an overgrowth of this bacteria occurs in the small intestine that you have SIBO. This bacteria produces gases, methane and hydrogen that aren't naturally present in the small intestine. And it's these gases that produce the symptoms of gas, bloating, and that changes and affects the intestinal villi, which affects absorption of nutrients, creates leaky gut, and a host of the symptoms caused by SIBO. So what is actually causing SIBO? Well, there are a number of different causes of SIBO, and some of the biggest ones are diet and lifestyle. So eating high refined carbohydrate foods is a perfect fuel for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Other infections like gastritis and helicobacter can be the trigger for a SIBO to develop. Medications. Certain medications, especially ones that are used to treat reflux, uh, they lower the stomach's digestive acid, which creates a perfect environment for SIBO to overgrow and thrive. Elderly people are commonly on these medications, which is one of the reasons why SIBO affects elderly people a lot more. These proton pump inhibitors or drugs to, like Nexium, Losec, Pariot are some of the most prescribed drugs on the market. Other drugs, uh, antibiotics, can also make an environment ideal for SIBO to overgrow. Low stomach acid and poor motility is another big factor in helping SIBO thrive. So the hormones, the detoxification, and the gastrointestinal systems are the three key areas that if are working well, are gonna improve 90% of health problems. The number one, one, number one area to start with is always addressing the gastrointestinal symptom. Because if you're not digesting your nutrients, if you're not eliminating toxins, you're gonna to put more pressure on the hormones, you're gonna put more pressure on the detoxification system. So treating and addressing digestion is important even if you do have hormonal problems. The typical symptoms of SIBO are gas and bloating. Other common symptoms are constipation, diarrhea, or often a combination of constipation and diarrhea, brain fog, fatigue, muscle aches and pains, skin problems, bad breath, are all typical symptoms of SIBO. You don't have to have all of these symptoms, but it's common to have at least three or four. Other symptoms of SIBO are more systemic, like autoimmune problems. Autoimmune causes leakiness of the intestinal mucous membrane, and that leads to an over-response by the immune system against the pathogens getting into the bloodstream. Neurolog neurological symptoms. More and more research is showing that the health of the gut is affecting people's mood and having the wrong types of bacteria can lead to depression, anxiety. Decreased vitamin mineral absorption. Having low levels of iron and B12 are common indicators that you may have SIBO because the body is not able to absorb the nutrients. SIBO can affect all aspects of health. Skin problems, heart disease, eczema, asthma. They can 
all have multiple causes, but digestion health and the imbalance in the gut microbiome is one of the key causes. And one of the key causes of a disruption in the gut microbiome biome is SIBO. The only way to know is to do a SIBO test. Another good test is the small, is, other than testing for SIBO, is a comprehensive digestive stool analysis that can look at the levels of good and bad bacteria in the large intestine. The best method to test SIBO is a simple breath test. This can be done anywhere at home and test kits can be posted anywhere in Australia, North America and many other parts of the world too. It's safe and reliable and even children can do it. Results are ready within a week. And you can also test fructose intolerance. Fructose intolerance is when people are specific, specifically reacting to the fructose in fruits. The SIBO test measures, measures the hydrogen and methane gas that are only produced by the bacteria in the small intestine. Here's a small sample or a small part of the SIBO test results. This graph shows an overgrowth in the hydrogen levels. The importance of testing before treating can help determine the best type of treatment for you and how long treatment should go for. Whether someone is hydrogen or methane dominant will help determine the best type of treatment and how long it should go for. Here's an example of high methane levels. High methane is often associated with constipation and the treatment to address this can be longer and there's an emphasis on addressing the motility of the digestive tract which is often the underlying cause. So how do you treat SIBO? Well, there's different options. There's the herbal nutrient dietary options, antibiotics, and something called the FODMAP diet. Antibiotics and the herbal nutrient treatments are fairly equal in their effectiveness. Low antibiotics can be expensive, and they can be hard to get or even hard to get prescribed by your doctor. And they can also have side effects. The FODMAP diet mainly treats the symptoms, so you can often feel better, but you're not addressing the underlying cause, and you don't want to be on a restrictive FODMAP diet for long periods of time. So the best way is the herbal nutrient dietary options. So the Planet Naturopath solution is to do the specific SIBO diet, as well as antimicrobial herbs, biofilm agents. So a lot of these bacteria are really hard to kill or hard to get rid of because the bacteria produces these biofilms, which is a good way to imagine it is like a protective mucus bubble that surrounds the bacteria. And the biofilm agents help to break down this protective bubble to make the antimicrobial herbs or even antibiotics work more effectively. We need to improve the motility so the bacteria cannot get fermented by starches in the diet and improve the absorption of nutrients by adding in digestive enzymes. And finally, we want to help repair the damage done by SIBO by repairing the intestinal permeability and the microvilli at the end of the program. The SIBO test and consultation costs the costs are different in each country, so the best way is to contact Planet Naturopath and we'll give you a specific cost depending on what country you're in. The test includes a 30 minute consultation to explain the results and help you with a customized treatment plan. You'll be given a written report detailing the underlying cause and a treatment plan to improve your digestion health. There'll be clear dietary guidelines and access to cookbooks to follow during the treatment and you'll have access to the best quality practitioner products to ensure great results. And of course, you won't be left on your own to do this. There will be follow-up support with consultations and email. Thank you for watching this video. The next step if you're experiencing digestion symptoms is to do a SIBO test. At Planet Naturopath, we can help organize the test kit to be sent to your home. We can organize the interpretation of the test what the best diet for you to follow and the best supplements to take and more importantly how you can stop SIBO returning so you can have an optimal functioning digestion system. So contact us today and we'll organise a test kit for you.